Looking at the games and gaming section. I know this card was so special about Abelis, the Tormentor, four hundred dollars. It's in the top loader. What's up, comic book family, comic book addicts? Welcome back to another exciting comic book haul. Let's just go ahead and just get it started. I believe this episode number 157, we're going long, we're going strong. All right, we're going to start things off with Mark Millar World and Frank Quitely, a good combination with uh, great storytelling with awesome art, Jupiter's Legacy. And this is going to be featured in the upcoming Netflix show that's dropping May 7th. I believe it's... The story is about the officer and superheroes living in the shadow of their parents. So that seems to be very interesting. You know, I got to hit up all these uh, Venom covers. Big fan of Venom and Carnage. All right, and this is the Eric Larson cover back in the 90s when it came out. 333 looks like this is right before the Carnage full appearance. And I'm wondering if this is the first appearance. Oh, it's not the first appearance of Sticks and Stone. I guess it's one of these earlier appearances. Wow, we already know Mortal Kombat is very hot with the upcoming movie. I'm excited about that. That's coming out soon, I think this month. Or, or maybe like before summertime. And I've never seen this cover before, guys. This is featuring characters from Mortal Kombat 2. I think that's when it dropped, like late 90s maybe. Mid to late 90s. Mortal Kombat Goro, Prince of Pain. I believe they also feature like a Silver Foil, foil Edition. That's the one to look out for, but super hard to find. Some saga goodness. Ooh, early issues. Look at this. 10, 8, 9, 9. Man, you know, you know Saga is hot, guys. I know they, um, the creators of Fiona Staples and Brian Vaughn, I think they, they made a clause in their, in their uh, contract that they, when these were not, the story would not be made into a movie. Pretty weird, though. You would think that if you want to create something, you want it to be in a movie. But who knows, man? It's, sometimes these comic book um, creators are just weird. But anyway, here's Saga number eight early, you know, issues. And this is second printing, so making it ultra hard to find. And here's issue number nine. I'm, I'm telling you guys, the story is great. I'm telling you. I just wish it was made into a TV series. It would be freaking awesome. It would be like, a, you know, like a sex and... Uh, Intergalactic Warfare all combined to one, kind of like a doll version of uh, Star Wars. So that's issue number 9, and here's issue number 10. I think I stopped reading around like issue 40-ish or 50 or something like that. So here's issue number 12. Now this is the, um, oh hold on, my, my bad. Issue number 8, alright, issue number 8. It's uh, the first appearance of uh, Gwendolyn. I believe it's their daughter. Uh, here's issue number 12. This is a controversial one because um, back in 2013, this was recalled by Apple Digital Service for explicit depictions of sex. Yeah, pretty weird, huh? Alright, so here is issue number 13. Oh, by the way, all of these are um, half of cover price because it's uh, so $1.50 from half price books. Issue number 15, and here is uh, issue number 16. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, these are 50 cents. I cleaned out real good. Yes, sir. All right, so here is the Star Slayer, issue number 6. This is the volume 1, so these are harder to find before it was... Uh... Oh, I forgot who, who makes Star Slayer. First comics, that's right, because before it was made by PC. I forgot what PC stands for. And I heard that, um, uh, you, you, well, at least Grimjack is going to get his own movies, but because the Star Slayer features his first appearance, so it might drive up the value a little bit. And by the way, it's made by, invented by Mike Grill, all right? So here's Megaton number four. Um, you guys are wondering probably what the heck is, what's up with this comic, all right? So this features the second appearance of Savage Dragon. I'm still looking for the first appearance. Main Spider-Man 601. I used to own the uh, J. Scott Campbell edition, but I sold it. Like a couple of years ago. So here is a 601 variant edition. This features the 70th anniversary frame variant. 
Ah, you know Miss Marvel is going to be hot, guys. And this is the number two dirt printing. I like that yellow because uh, it kind of matches the border along with the text, you know. It just stands out because this is also yellow. It really stands out greatly. And check it out, guys. Alright, I'm half price books. Look in the comic books. Look at the R's. I'm running Stimpy. Ren and Stimpy number one. Ah, Ren and Stimpy. Scratch and sniff. This one of these gimmick cover poly bag with a, with a um, card, I believe. Open the bag and secret message is still, it's still back in, uh, it's still back in original shape. So, by the way, uh, it's also the first solo comic book by Ren Stimpy, and Comedy Central is gonna reboot it along with Beavis and Butthead and South Park. So I'm pretty excited about that. Let's look at these Thor comics. Oh, this is the one I can't locate. Check it out, guys. Who the heck is this? Hmm, who is that? He looks pretty evil. Green. Hmm, and it's Thor. Why, well, this is the first appearance of Kid Thor. Kid Loki, I meant. <laughs> and, uh, Apparently, uh, Loki's gonna feature a younger version of himself, so that's gonna drive up the value. It's already like nearing 20 bucks already. Once the show comes, or when he drops, man, it's gonna skyrocket to $50, I bet you. All right, check this out, guys. Oh, what's this? Convention Edition. Like I said, in all my combo hauls, pay attention to the cover. If it's something you need to see before, put it to the side, do some research if you have the time. So this is IDW Transformers Combiner Hunters, all right? But when I looked at the bottom, it says Conventional IDW Edition. So this is uh, one of those uh, promotion ones during the um, Comic-Con. And I, I did some research on eBay and I see people are selling for like 40 and $50, man. So I got them for 50 cents. I even, I, I told the half price books uh, worker there, I was saying like, there's no price on this. I think there's one giveaway. So he, she just printed out 50 cents. So I had a 50 cents. Pretty lucky, huh? All right, so now I'm gonna take you to a local LCS, and this is from the 50 cents clearance section. This is Black Knight number two. Uh, thank goodness for Key Collector comic. I wouldn't know this is a key issue because this is the first appearance of Sean Dolan. Uh, Black Knight's Squire later becomes Blood Wraith in Avengers Annual number 22. All right, uh, I am super excited by, uh, for this Friday uh, because March I think like 26 is when uh, Invincible drops but by the time you watch this video it'll be probably like a couple of months later so I'm very excited for the upcoming animation I have high hopes for it speaking because they have a, a high caliber list of uh, actors it's voiceover can't wait can't wait here is Young Justice the secret. This is from the dollar section, and check it out, guys. And these like mylar binders, all fancy and stuff. Yeah, and the price sticker is on the cover, not I mean on the plastic sleeve, not on the cover like annoying half price books. Like I told them hundreds of times via social media, but they don't want to do anything about it. Anyway, uh, so this features the first team appearance of YJ. Um, I mean, Young Justice, Robin, Superboy, and Impulse. Also, the first appearance of Secret, a girl with the ability to become intangible. And here is Batman number 633. This is uh, 
The Death of Spoiler, Stephanie Brown. To honestly tell you the truth, I don't know why I bought that. <laughs> Here is, this is the cover that's shown on Key Collector Climbing. So the reason why is that um, the title switched from Superman to Adventures of Superman. This is issue number 424, a pretty iconic cover. Uh, this is the um, first appearance of Cat Grant and Samuel Lane. The Six Gun. I haven't read any of it from the series, but I heard it's pretty exciting. For Oni Press, one of these lower caliber publishers, but don't look down on them because it's the last issue, so 50 issues, that's a pretty long run for a small publisher. Supposedly, during the Civil War, um, there were five mystical guns, and they all went to the way of bad guys. And the six gun is missing. I have a feeling she owns a six gun and she is a good person. I'm, I, I would watch that show if they make one from that. Wouldn't you? Alright, so we have Hulk number 72. Pay close attention. Hulk is fighting Iron Man. But what's up with his armor? Well, I feel this features the debut of Iron Man's gamma radiation armor. It basically absorbs the gamma radiation and then shoots back at the uh, attacker here is batman dark knight dark city number 452 that's a storyline the first mention of barbado is the bat god of the dark motiverse batman 664 this is the first appearance of ellie a street girl that becomes a receptionist at receptionist at wayne tech oh yeah so i was lucky to find another copy of this devil may cry from the video game series. I think it's limited uh, three issue or four issue. These are super hard to find. Good luck finding that. Look at this. Yeah, so that's uh, six of the gems. Infinity Wars, Infinity number one. This features the first appearance of Hector Bautista. It's going up in value because um, basically he's a death row inmate. They chosen to possess this time stone. Later becomes overtime in an infinite destinies event that's dropping in May from Marvel. And uh, if they ever bring out War Eye, but let you, he would be the villain. I've been looking for this for like half a year now, I guess. Finally have it. I love the Doctor Doom cover. This is late issue. She's Fantastic Four number 558. First featuring the first cameo of the new Defenders. Later becomes Fantastic Force. I know I have one already in my private collection. I think it was in St. Louis. In my parents' uh, basement. So I decided to get another one for a dollar. Because this one features the first full appearance of Angel as Horseman Death. Later becomes Archangel. Also featuring the first team appearance of the Horseman Apocalypse, Death, Famine, War, and Pestilence. And lastly, to complete this. Short but awesome haul, Astounding X-Men number six. I love the cover because you have a Colossus in his, uh, you know, skin, just wrapping up uh, Kitty Pryde Invisible. Uh, what's what's her name? Invisible girl? Not when it's Invisible girl. Um, Shadow Cat, I think. Uh, yeah. So it's a pretty iconic cover. It features the first mention of Sword and the first full appearance of Abigail Brand. Now it shot up to up to value like fifty dollar. And then it kind of dropped down to like 20 now. So I pay $4 for that. Uh, but be on the lookout for that. You could get off a cover. Definitely hit that up. Who knows? You know, um, I'm sure they'll reintroduce Abigail Brand uh, once they decide to continue Vision in the Scarlet Witch, maybe season two, in, in the future MCU. Hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Make sure you click on the subscribe button. Thanks for your support. Take care of yourselves and happy collecting. Number one. Twenty dollars.